dude, I don't feel like going down. Just, just climb up. I was like, I probably got it in last night or something. Yeah. <laughs> It's your boy Chris of 1980 Something Co. And this is Stash Raiders, the show where I link up with some of my favorite thrifters and collectors to see what we keep in the personal stash. For this episode, I'm linking up with a real collector, uh, curator, someone I've been following for a minute, my boy, Julian Ramirez. What's up, G? How you doing? Oh, man. How you been? Thanks for being on the show. Oh, man. So, coming in here, first thing I saw was got the Sade heater on. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely a Sade 2001 joint. Had to throw it on for you, man. Sick. And I was kind of nervous coming up here because I was like, usually like when I do an episode, I'll just throw on whatever tea. Like that's just kind of how I run my shit. Like I'll just yeah. throw on whatever tea's next in my pile or whatever. Yeah. But for this one, I was like, yo, I'm about to go chill with somebody who's got grills. Like, I can't just pull up in whatever Well, you came through with that Living Single so I like I did all right. Yeah, like, yeah, hell yeah, man. You know, Living Single, one of my favorite TV shows from the 90s. Kind of a rap tee, got Queen Latif on. Yeah, no, it yeah, is a rap tee for sure. So the I colors think... on that shit look dope too. Okay, dope, cool. Man. So I'm, I'm approved. My daily routine approved. Nah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so. so let's get into the collection right here. I think in the '90s it was just. There was all kinds of genres of music. There was hip hop, techno, rave, trip hop, hip hop, all kinds of stuff. And um, I think for me as being into all those different musics and collecting all those different kinds of genres of music and going to the record store just opened my mind and opened my like ways of what I wanted to spin and become an open format DJ because I would like hip hop, but then a Radiohead album would drop and I'd go cop that, and then the Chemical Brothers, which was all just different genres were dropping, and nowadays you just got one kind of, you know, hip hop trap, and maybe some rock. But um, back then, you know, all that, we, so much was hitting me, and, and you know, in a sense of like collecting everything, where it made me an open format DJ, then made me collect all these different shirts that I got into, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, cool. Sure. Yeah, man, so, um What's dope about your story, I feel like, is that you're um, you're a DJ, so you have like a vast knowledge of music, and I right. think that, um, and not only that, but like we've talked about before, you've been picking up because you've been DJing for a minute, so yeah. you've been picking up a lot of merch from different artists for years now, yeah. right? So, um, what piece in here is like probably like the oldest one that we'll see that you've had since day one? Um, but there's a lot of them, man. I mean, you see over here. Like this, this doggy style joint. You know what I mean? This wow. is from you know back in the day. The Beware the Dogs promo tee, very classic. You know, it has that like nice old print on it. it nice and it. faded. Yeah, yeah, little holes here and there. OG album cover right there. Yeah, on a jam tag. Jam tag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we were talking about like you know it's uh you and I had this conversation, you know it's a real Snoop Dogg shirt when it's got that gem tag, right? Yeah, it's just sure. official licensing. That's what you want to look for. These joints right here, some more in G's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, it's a G-Funk Air. So this is that tag right there. Yes, that gem tag. tag. Okay. But the back of this, I had, to, I had to fuck with it, man. You know what I'm saying? This DJ be worn G, Perfect. so. So uh, is this one that you've had since day one, or is this one that you've seeked out? No, I've had this one from day one, day one from a long shit. time ago. And I, I like shirts with back prints, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like when I DJ, you know, um, you can see something from the back. And, uh, yeah. you know, I think a lot of people like back print joints. Yeah, for sure. I get a lot of people ask me that, like, as when they inquire about a shirt that I post, like, is there a back print? Yeah. Because, yeah, you definitely, you know, I feel like, yeah. Yeah. if you're going to, especially if it's a grail piece, and you're going to be paying up that kind of money, you want to know if there's something on Yeah, like I got the, this Wu-Tang Forever one's dope too. You know what I'm saying? It's on a polygram, XL, yeah. uh, single stitch. But 
There's no Wu Tang Forever on the back. Oh shit! But I mean, it's all good. You know, it's a different saying? variation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. But that, but this one right here is so like known in the in the vintage community that it's like, you know, that like this one it doesn't even need to have a back print in this case. Right, you know? right. It's, it's so like the front iconic. speaks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Another thing that was super interesting to me was that when you uh, said that you you know you had been wearing these shirts when you were DJing back in the day, and then. Uh, you know, time had passed and then you started noticing that uh, vintage t-shirts were getting so popular and people right. were stopping you for like just the random tee that you would be wearing. It'd be like a wrap tee or whatever. Yeah. Uh, then you said like, dude, I have like a ton of yeah. these shirts, you know, that for, that you had bought from back in the day when you first started DJing because you've been DJing now for, I think since you, you said like late 90s, right? Yeah, late 90s. So then you ran back to the old stash and just yeah. had a bunch of bangers. In yeah, there. I had a couple boxes at my parents' house and I was tripping because when I moved up here to LA, I just didn't bring them. I had a bunch of my records and stuff like that. And uh, when it was popping and I saw what they were going for and people were hitting me up, I was, had to hit my parents up and made sure like, yo, you still have those boxes on deck. And sure enough, they did. So when I got back there, I just pulled them all out. Just like the EZ man, had to stretch them out a little yeah. bit, but they still work, <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out mom and dad for yeah. that one, dude. Yeah. Damn. Can't say the same about my records, though. Oh, really? I had crates and oh, crates man. of records, and my parents were like, yo, are you going to take them to L.A.? Are you leaving? I'm like, nah, I just yeah. never went. They put them out there on the garage sale, and they're all gone now. Oh, but it is what it is. I got my five bangers and a couple in storage. This joint's fire, too, right here. It's the Rizzo, the Bobby Digi joint. Sick. It's all promo, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Wow. It's kind of like, it's not like, I mean, I also like the block letter joints, too. Mm. You know what I mean? Something yeah. about shirts with the block letters. Like, I have a Cure shirt that has fat block letters yeah. on it. I mean, it's something. funny, like, the little things that will, and not only just, like, the history of the music, like, you know, this album and how dope it was, mm. but also just the graphic. Like, this one's got him on it, you know, like, yeah. he's masked up. Yeah, and, like, he, you he's know? wilding, bro. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Character. <laughs> favorites uh came up on this like twenty dollars wow yeah it was on um craigslist and uh some lady had him she had like three magazines with it and it was dead stock like it was in the bag and everything like that and uh, i saw it she posted nirvana books yeah. and so i like looked but i saw this shirt like hanging in the back yeah. and i was kind of like yo like like how much for the shirt she's like oh i'm selling it's like 20 bucks 25 bucks i was like oh, okay cool and i was like before like when i like hit people up i'm always like can you send pics of the tag because of you know like i want to see that because it's, i like i like just makeup shit like sometimes i like the tag you know some tags fit me different and she sent back the giant xl joint and i was like i'll be there in 30 yeah. minutes <laughs> she was like in dago and i just like strolled down there yeah. met her and, and got this joint but you know it's very clean when it was dead sock i washed it because I don't know, I like my shirts kind of washed up. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So she was in Diego and you were here. Yeah. And just hit uh, that, yeah, hell hit yeah. That yeah. Hell yeah, I'll go get it, bro. Like, yeah. that's that's another thing I feel with cats. Like, if the deal's there and it's like rap, I'll, I'll drive and go pick that piece up. You know what I'm saying? If it, if it makes sense. Did you tell her, like, to take it down or anything? or? No, I just drove and I just got it. But yeah. then I, I posted and, and I always get the, oh, man, I was too late. Or, oh, yeah. man, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If you, right, I feel like if you tell them like take it down, then they yeah, they, yeah, flag, yeah, 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 yeah. They'll be like, well, why is he making me take it down? You yeah. know what I'm saying? All right, so I picked out this one right here because this is crazy. That like, one's dope. Uh, I've, NWA merch already. You don't really see it too much. You yeah, know what I mean, they're like one of the oldest hip hop groups. You know, and um, merch. I feel like kind of like like merch for like an artist mm. is an '80s thing, right? Like in the seven, it was '70s. You kind of would see merch, but I think it became a real big like money maker for right. like artists, like in the '80s and stuff. Yeah, and the, this is definitely an '80s group. Yeah, and you know, mer just for an artist from that time to have merch is not a crazy thing, but for them to have already be getting like all over prints, you know what I mean? Yeah, prints big on the back. Yeah, graphic like that on the back of them all standing. Like this is a pretty. This is probably like the wildest yeah. NWA shirt. I've yeah, ever especially seen. with the you know the words on it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They just didn't give a fuck. So yeah. I like that shit. It's really punk. So man. when is this one from? 91. 91. Yeah, super sick. So yeah, I just such pull that splatter. one out. Yeah, like blood splatter. All yeah, over. it's another one I like to DJ in, man. Because it, again, it's a crazy back print, you know, and yeah. it's just it's just cool. It's just all of them on there. It's just yeah. some gangster shit. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I ever saw a DJ wearing this shirt. 
I'd be like, all right, this was about to kill it right now. Yeah, like, yeah, he knows oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's another thing too, man. You like, I feel like when you're rocking something cool, you know, doing whatever you do, man, skating, fucking whatever. Yeah. I think it's just like you get that whole attitude of what you're representing, what For you're sure. wearing. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like what we were talking about with like the Sade and the Bjorktees, mm -hmm. like you kind of give off that attitude. You yeah, know? you kind of want to throw some like chanel glasses on and yeah. you know what I'm saying? get it popping <laughs> for sure so what, what's the next one you picked out for us um, right here? this odb joint yeah it's a promotional tee for his album wow it's a 96 joint um i haven't seen another one man like as, uh, i saw a couple other brands yeah like uh other couple accounts post yeah. them yeah but there's no tag on it there's uh, no year yeah. it's the whole gimmick of the Oh, it's a London press, or it's from you yeah, know yeah. UK, yeah, yeah. and those are cool. But yeah, I won't spend yeah. six, seven hundred bucks on a UK. Right. You know what I mean? Because there's no nothing on there that's kind of like locks it down. No yeah. date. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're like, that's all good. And that's everything. all good and shit. And it could be know, single stitched. Yeah, but, but I got, I got a, you know, I got that date. Yeah, the date. And so is, is all their stuff on the Polygram tag? Um, no, they have like a bunch of other different brands, but the, for me, the Polygram is like the OG hip hop. Yeah. It's like kind of like the Bay Club bootleg, like yeah. official shit. Yeah. Like Polygram is just, you know, it's another one, like instead of gem, that's like an official licensing tag. Right. So if you you got joints on Polygram, it's, it's a wrap. It's, it's official. official. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? To me, that makes the price go up more and, you know, so yeah, it's one of, another one of my favorites. That's so awesome. So, so you started, um, so you were DJing, you started seeing like, you know, the hype on the vintage tees, you got a bunch of vintage tees, so then you decided to open up uh, your Instagram where you post, you know, the pieces that you curate. Yeah. My Daily Routine Vintage. Yeah. So uh, on there, you sell the stuff that you post as well. Yeah. So like, how crazy did people go over that one right there? Oh yeah, because the thing is, the, way, the reason why it's like, I didn't... I didn't see that his shit was popping. I was like, oh, I can make money on this. Yeah. It was just like, oh, shit. Like, that's why I came up with the whole my daily routine. Yeah. It's kind of like my daily routine, a sense of digging, wearing some cool shit, vintage shit, putting some stuff up there. If it's not yeah. for sale, it's just, just kind of like the lifestyle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when I posted this, yeah, I got a lot of DMs of just people yeah. going crazy. But some stuff I'll just post just like i don't care yeah. like if, just to share it just to share it yeah. you know what i mean because i don't see it anywhere else yeah but people come at me a price and i just tell them sorry yeah. it's not for sale it's from that's from my personal yeah. you know thing and yeah. sometimes they reply or sometimes they'll come back in a couple of weeks with a different price yeah. and then they just keep on going and going <laughs> yeah. and i just have to hit them with a okay i'll keep you in mind yeah, but yeah. when i let it go i definitely hit you first yeah. So for sure. a lot of people so get that. So my daily routine vintage is like stuff you'll sell and also just stuff you want to just yeah, show. Yeah, share like, and good stuff to like that. put it out there. Yeah, yeah. again, it's like I'm, I'm not, you know, I DJ, so it's like it's a hobby and it's like I just like to post stuff, cool stuff, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not really about the money. It's just kind of, you know, sometimes for the flex or sometimes just right. put it out there and get it on the page. Just to share it. Yeah, yeah. just put it out there, yeah. There's I there. get that feeling too when I come across something I've never seen. I'm like... And like if I'm buying it from someone mm. and they're kind of taxing me on it, I'm like, well, I, I'm just gonna take it because I just I think people need to see it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. doing what I do, like I want to share this. Yeah, you know? yeah, definitely. You know, I like every every shirt I collect, I spin the music. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like I actually drop Bjork songs or Portishead from hip hop to rap to rock. So when I'm rocking his tees, I'm definitely spinning them in my set, and I listen to that music. And when I go out, I always try to play it and. You know, because there's a lot of people that haven't heard it. You know what I mean? I've spun stuff before where people thought it was a new new group that came out. You know what I'm saying? So definitely always trying to like play some new shit and play the classics where hopefully some people can hear that and they come up and ask and then they go home and listen to the album themselves. All right, so this one right here I pulled out because I don't know anything about this band, but I just love this graphic right That's, here. It's the same one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the no, same I thing do, with you. Yeah, right, same cool. thing. Um, my homie in San Diego had it down there, and uh, he, I saw it. He's like, I have the Muffs, and I've heard about the band. It's a girl, mm -hmm. like, grunge band, you yeah. know, and they play. It's kind of like they're really raw and grunge, and I saw the shirt, and really, like, again with me i was like that's the fucking cool shirt that's what in the cool. back it has a spider and it's just on some, again the block letters like yeah. i think block letters are fucking cool on shirts so i hit him and he was like yeah he's like uh i have this price kind of worked with him we, we met in the mutual um 
price and I copped it, man. Yeah. But I didn't know that Miley Cyrus wore it. Oh yeah, then you posted that. Yeah, accident. I saw because yeah. some people, some some people were hitting me up and trying to throw prices at me, and my, you know, like I was just like, oh, I don't know. And then people were like DM me like, oh, you know Miley Cyrus? And I was like, it's kind of funny. And so I found the pictures and I posted her a little yeah. wearing it, but I put the LOL like, yeah. in the sense of like, not as like a selling point. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm gonna do with it. I, I like it. I'm a rocket. It's cool colors. Yeah. You know, their band's dope. They're cool, and um, you know, yeah. it's summertime, so it's a perfect summer shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw, yeah, actually, um, I saw, I think I saw the person who posted this that you got it from. And when I saw it, I was like, dude, that's a fucking cool shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, man, I guess some people, I don't know. I don't want to say yeah. nothing about other people, but just, I think it was cool. And yeah. It, it worked out. It's all that so I got it. Yeah. yeah. So I got it. And <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a cool shirt. Definitely. Yeah. So at the beginning of when we, when I first came in and like I did the intro, I said like, uh, you know, I usually say I link up with my favorite thrifters and collectors. Mm -hmm. You're on the collector side of that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, because a lot of the stuff that you get, like you do thrift, but mainly you seek out. So you have like a curated approach to the things that you have. Right, right, right. Uh, I like uh, don't get it twisted. Like I hit hit the um, thrifts and everything. And you know, if you talk to other cats down there and other places, they'll say they see me out in the field digging. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So um, yeah, I, I dig and I thrift and. But there's just so many ways of getting different teas. Mm -hmm. So I just don't dig. I just, like you said, I, I kind of curate and look for what, you know, yeah. what I like. Yeah. And kind of trying to stay at the higher end of things. Yeah. Because you know? when, you, when you're just thrifting, thrifting, you're just getting whatever you can. Sometimes you get your hands on grails, you decide to keep them. So yeah. a collection builds that way. But when you're actually seeking out the pieces, yeah. there's a certain, like, taste that comes through the rack. Right. You know? And that's that's just another thing too. Like I like probably want to get out there is like, you know, I, like if you look at most of these tees, I wear these tees. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I'll go somewhere today and throw on this Portis head joint. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I, I wear my stuff. So usually the stuff I find, if it's XL and I like it, I'll keep it. Yeah. And I don't, you know, people can do whatever they want with them. I just mm -hmm. don't understand the fact that when people have a shirt and it's a small yeah. <laughs> or uh, like they don't ever yeah. wear it and they're just like look it's part of my collection yeah you know like i just don't get it but yeah. whatever makes people happy that's just not me i'll i would let someone else that is a small or medium if i ever did find a cool shirt yeah. and they were gonna actually wear it yeah and enjoy it yeah. i would let it go there's yeah. no point on me holding on to you know yeah. pieces like that yeah, yeah I'm, I'm the same way like it's got to fit me but then, like, I've realized just in doing this show, there's two types of people who will keep the small shirt. Right, 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 right. right. There's the ones that'll keep it because they know it's worth a lot and they don't want nobody else to have it yeah. or, you know, something like that. Yeah. And then there's the one that is a genuine fan of whatever content is on that shirt. Right. And it's just like, it doesn't fit me, but it's, it's just an amazing part it's of amazing history. history. You know, history, yeah, yeah. 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 I get that, but yeah. it's just, again, when it comes down to me, it's like... Yo, if it don't fit me and, and someone else is a fan of it and they're going to appreciate it and they're going to wear that shit to concerts and do whatever they want to do with it, I'll let them have yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I mean... I feel you on that for sure. Like, even it. with... Uh, I was just telling my dude, like, even with this piece, like, I love this show. I grew up with it. And when I found this shirt, I wore the shit out of it. Oh, right? you dug that up? Uh, no, this one I found... Uh, I bought off a seller. Bought off a seller. And when I found it, I was just wearing the shit out of it, right? And then yeah. finally I was like, okay, like... I've worn this shirt a thousand times. People have seen me in it a bunch of times. Probably even someone even commented like, yo, is that like your favorite shirt or what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was, so I'll have this thing where like, kind of like what you have with, if it doesn't fit me, I'm gonna give it away for someone else to enjoy. I was like, I think I'm down to let someone else enjoy this shirt. Right. One of the coolest parts about this game is like, we just trade off shirts. You yeah, know? It's, just, it's that's what I, I feel. It's like, it's like a whole big recycling thing. And I forgot what account posted, but they posted like, hey, like, we're put, they're selling a lot of like wrap tees and just like cool tees, but they were doing them for like like a four hundred dollar tee. They're putting for two hundred, mm -hmm. and they put on the thing like, hey, if this isn't your size and like you don't even into this band, don't buy it. Right. Like save it for the people that are actually oh, into okay. that band yeah. and that can actually be like, hey, I like this band. Mm -hmm. I have two hundred. I don't have a four hundred dollar budget, but I have two hundred. Mm -hmm. And let them get it. Yeah. I kind of respect that more than people that are just being like, yo, how much? How much? I have fucking, you know, I'm just going to cop it just to resell, resell it. it yeah. yeah, I mean, I get it. It's a business at the end of the yeah. day. People got to make money. But when it's just ridiculous, when it's like something you don't like, it's just you're just looking straight for the deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to like, that's, I feel like that's like the constant struggle with anything, even with like streetwear is like figuring out the lovers from the right. resellers. You right. Know? I mean, it's, it's part of the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All right, so what's the next one that you wanted to show us right here? Um, 
Look at this big little planet's joint. I'm like a fan of just like, you know, all the 90s, like early kind of hip hop shit. Mm -hmm. And um, this Digable Planets one's dope because it has a picture of all of them. And then it has the fucking cool like that on the back, which is like their main single. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, I'm stoked on this joint. It's XL. So it's just got like all those parking lot boot colors on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's just a rad shirt. And I've never seen another one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've seen the other ones. It's just like writing, but... I also like adapt to p the pictures, pictures yeah. of the artists on it. Mm. Like it's still cool. Like if it's just like you know the logo on it, but to me it's more if they have pictures of the characters on them. Yeah. It's just cooler to me. Yeah. So when you go through someone's collection, you get like a feel for their taste and you know what they're <clears> into. <throat> but what's cool about you is that you're a DJ, and like all DJs, you know, good DJs at least, they have a vast knowledge of music, like yeah. catalog. You right. Know what I mean. I'm sure everyone's been at like a party or somewhere with the DJ and they just play a song that you're like, dude, I haven't heard that in years or I've never heard that. That's yeah. an amazing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I'm looking at here is just like a vast, just like wide variety of just music choice. and. You well, know yeah, that's I mean? the thing I was telling you. I was like that I could pull out like all my wo like bootleg, Tupac's, Biggie's, you know, the higher pricings, but... I feel like your show, like in a sense, is like what what's close to me and what like I like and what's it's not about value. It's That's just it. about the like what I'm into and what me growing up was into and the music I was influenced and so these are all teas of you know just that's why there's so many genres of just different music and different artists because you know it is it comes back to I am a DJ an open format DJ and I respected all these music not just rap and hip hop. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. All right, so I picked out this one right here just because uh, another band that I listened to a lot when I was a kid, Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, rock tees usually come in black. This one's white. White one, yeah, it's clean. Yeah, nice colors on it. Yeah. Like you said, for the the muffs, like a little summertime joint. Summertime you know I mean? joint, perfect. Yeah, and it's I've always wanted this one myself. Yeah, this one had like some stuff on the back right mm -hmm. here. But I mean, it's all good, man. It's yeah. from the 90s and it's, it's definitely cool. Smashing Pumpkins, rad. I had another one, but I sold it, and uh, yeah, this one, the colors on this one is dope. It's summer joints. I feel like, I don't know, in summertime, I'm rocking white joints, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, yeah. especially DJing day parties, and, and, and you're just going to pool parties and shit like that. Yeah. You should want to go with a white tee with some colorful shit. It always yeah. looks straight. Yeah, but super cool. Yeah, Smashing Pumpkins is ill. All right, what you got right there? Uh, so this this one right here might be like the the episode finisher, I feel like. So I'll let you get into it. <laughs> yeah, man. This is uh, the Method Man, the uh, You're All I Need collabo with Mary J. Blige. One of my favorites, man. Wow. But far as bootleg, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, it's kind of theme, too, that we have uh, on different episodes. Something that I always bring up is, like, you have a shirt for an album. You have a shirt for an artist. But when you have a shirt for an individual song, yeah, that's like someone really liked that song. But what's even cooler about this one is that it's a rap tee, you know, which is like crazy. Yeah. And it's like a hip hop duet that has both artists on this right. shirt for that one song. Yeah. So you got Method Man on the front. He's wearing a St. Ides shirt. That's yeah. wild already. I got a St. Ides joint too. <laughs> I would try to find all the joints like that era, yeah. like even the beer joints, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah he's rocking the St. Ides joint, the Wu-Tang upside down beanie. Just the colors, these, these crazy Little circles. Bubbles. It's yeah. just, and then down here is some more. Like artsy shit. Super cool. It's cool, man. Yeah. It's just fucking. It's the colors, the the block letters again. Yeah. Um, it's a really dope piece, man. It's one of my favorite out of all the bootlegs. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely cool. a dope joint. My sister's older boyfriend. He had turntables, and I think he broke up or something happened where he got kicked out of his house, and he was like sleeping on couch to couch, but he had turntables, and uh, he came to me and was like, "Yo, like." I got some turntables, man. Like, I don't know where to store them. Can I store them in you? Can you put them in your room? I was young. I was like, hell yeah, you can put them in my room. He brought them over, like five crates of just house music, funk, hip hop, old school. And I was young, man. So like, to be young and have nothing, and this wasn't no internet. This was no YouTube joints. There was no, you can't do anything. All there was was turntables. So I just started fucking around, scratching records up, and that's how it became DJ, man. You know what I mean? 
This one's amazing to me. Uh, Nervous Records, uh, yeah. super crazy iconic hip hop label from the nineties. It's also a house house music label too. So who was on this label? Like who? Uh, Armand Van Helden, Black Moon as hip hop, and uh, so many just different like house groups. And uh, again, it's like me growing up. I had to have a Nervous T. And uh, it was just like house music and hip hop was just pumping that in, in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? And Nervous, this, this, this logo is so iconic. And uh, it just brings me back to just collecting the Nervous records. I think it's a 90, yeah, 94 joint. 94, single stitch. And uh, the reason I picked it up is because, uh, again, like for all over print, for a rap tee, just like the NWA one, for it to be all over print, like I feel like that was something more reserved for like rock bands and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one's just got like the crazy big graphic. Yeah, makes a statement. You rock. It has the New York on it. Yeah. I, I like anything too. Like that's like New York deep house. Like in the '90s stuff is like really cool to me. And again, because I was in house music and I was DJing house music at the same time as DJing raves and you know little house fucking parties playing, playing nervous records so it was fucking it's really cool I had to have that joint yeah really good condition this is always good sometimes I can't even read it yeah but I could, if I could just see the little thing on a little the joint on there yeah fire. you know it's, you know it's money <laughs> alright cool you got another one in there or is that the end of it uh, let's see that one's fire dude that one's crazy huh yeah the, with the nervous the nervous yeah. yeah I got this gangstar joint I like this one uh, sure um yeah, I like this Gangstar joint because um, I like, you know, minimal things sometimes. Yeah. In the sense it just has a splash at the Moment of Truth album, which mm. is a fucking iconic album. Just has a little Gangstar boom hit right there. And the back is a breath of fresh air. Original beats and rhymes. Has the Virgin Records. And uh, yeah, it's just one of my favorites. Yeah. Just clean Gangstar joint hit on the side. It's real classic. You can rock that shit with a gold chain. Looks slick. Yeah. Super mm -hmm. iconic group, Gangstar, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I, as, now that you're bringing it up, like, how did they even have like a big merch run like that? Or I feel like it was always like little hits. It was little Gangstar hits. Yeah, hit. you never see yeah. them like uh, you, the bootleg joints. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They have a picture of them. Mm -hmm. But it, I just feel like they just vary like their 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 shirts and all their promotion stuff was just branding their their uh, logo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'll see this right here, or you'll see a big Gangstar. Or you'll see the big gang star with the chain on the back. Yeah. And that's just how they were, which is cool to me. You know what I mean? It's very punk, very just like, boom, this is, we don't need to take pictures of us. Yeah. You know, we don't need us on there, on the, on the front or the back. Our, our uh, logo will just speak for itself. Yeah. All right, so this one right here I picked out because uh, a, a lot of things that speak to me are things that I remember from when I was a kid, right? Like liquid television? Yeah, so like <laughs> I just remember this right here would be on HBO and I'd always be like, yo, that's a cartoon. I, I got to watch that, right? Yeah, yeah. I just remember like my mom would be like, nah, it's not a kid's cartoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what, what, did you ever watch this cartoon? Do you know yeah, what it's about? Um, it was, I used to watch this show called uh, Liquid Television and it was like a bunch of stuff that had like even like it was Aeon Flux, just a bunch of independent little yeah. artists. Yeah, they had a, the one that I did used to watch was remember that one, the head and that dude. Yeah, yeah, the big, huge, huge head. head. Yeah, yeah, the huge head. And they also had even Beavis and Butthead first was on that show too, yeah. but they were just on some like ghetto like looking all bootleg on yeah. it. But it was like the beginning <laughs> shit. Yeah. But I, this one always stuck out to me. Um, you know, like mm. it's just she was always just rad. It was always cool, and, yeah. and you know, it was always on some futuristic shit. Yeah. I feel like uh, people are into Akira and stuff yeah. like that. My shit was Aeon Flux all day. So I had sweet. another one, uh, which a rare, super long sleeve one. Mm. I bought it from the same person. Yeah. And um, I had a long sleeve, and the long sleeve was super rare. Yeah. And someone just came at me with a crazy price, so yeah, I had right. two of them. Yeah. That's another selling point in my head. Yeah. Like if I have like multiple things mm -hmm. like if i have a couple shirts i'll let one of them go you know yeah. what i'm saying because i'll in my mind will say it's okay because yeah. i have two of them <laughs> left yeah. or another one so yeah i uh let the white one go for a crazy price and kept this one in the stash so it was a white long sleeve and just the same graphic like this uh no it, it had her with the gun standing up mm -hmm. and it had like the eye mm -hmm. the eyeball on mm -hmm. the thing with the fly and then yeah. it had crazy stuff on the back it was a really dope shirt yeah really really cool but yeah. you know I bet, because just the artwork for the cartoon was so cool. It goes back to the thing, too. I think the white one was an XL, but it was still a little kind of tight. Yeah. And it was a, kind of like a more of a large. And it goes back to the thing again. If it's not, it's, I'm not like fitting it, it's yeah. not, then I'm, I'm going to let it go. Yeah. All right, so this one right here. Uh, so I know her from, uh, she was, 
Well, tell me, tell me about her, because I just know her from like when she was in the '80s, like she was just, just like in a band, like just doing her music thing. Yeah. Well, I just remember actually she was just famous in the '80s, and she was with like Dolph Lundgren for a bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did her music thing, but she was always just like I, I feel like she always was just like artsy and like had that artsy kind of look and was yeah. in the artsy circle like yes. Warhol and all them like yeah. that and maybe later in the 80s and she's just like an iconic figure yeah. that was always cool to me she was always wearing some wild shit some yeah. high-end fashion shit and yeah. you know when I got a chance to get this again another kid had it and he just didn't know what it was yeah. and you know I did and kind of in a sense I and again I'm into it I think it's cool like I said on the podcast I think RTs are fucking rad you know what mm -hmm. I mean I, I wish they would pick up more and mm -hmm. like I, I feel like RTs and other T's just would pick up more it'd be more rounded where it'd be more funner because I feel everyone tries to get bootleg and rap T's yeah. and just rap T's rap T's rap T's mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so again I love RT's and this is one of my favorite Grace Jones mm -hmm. is rad so, yeah this is uh, Grace Jones and yeah that's that's what I was trying to say is that I remember growing up as a kid, I'd see her in the 80s and she was always like this like very eclectic celebrity. You know? Right, right. Hanging out with celebrities and artists and stuff like that. Yeah, she was in that so, art circle for sure. So yeah, to have a shirt of her like this is super awesome. Put some grace wow. in your face. Super dope. <laughs> That's so crazy. Anybody can be a DJ, you know what I mean? I think it's just the flavor, it's the style, it's the curation of the music. It's easy to be a DJ, you know what I mean? Like basically you play songs, but I think what makes a good DJ is the curation of the music. And that's what comes back to me, is like why I have so many different styles of music. I could I could have brought Bone Thugs and Harmony or Nas Keys or Bootleg Joints and just have the rap keys, but I feel like growing up and having flavor and, and you know style and being an open format DJ, is why I have such a different, you know, selection of teas. You know what I'm saying? I have the trip hop, I have the house music, I have nervous records, I have the hip hop stuff, rap teas. It's all in thing because, you know, basically it influenced me and, you know, just being a cool open format DJ, that's just how it is. And this is the last one that I got picked out right here. Uh, just because we were talking about the new uh, Quentin movie coming out. Oh, yeah. The, with you know, what's, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. With uh, Manson in it. And just like in in our community, like the serial killer tees are mm -hmm. just crazy. You know? Yeah, why, yeah. Why really. do you think that is? Like, I don't know, man. I think it's just that dark kind of feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I've, I, Manson's, you know, I mean, Manson's cool, but I've, I remember. Um, He's kind of like who you think of when you think of like murder. Right. And, and you know, I spent a lot of like underground hip hop shows. So it's always cool to be on yeah. some like necro, like yeah. nonfiction <laughs> shit. But um, I remember uh, Axl Rose wearing a couple of tees, yeah. the concerts, like not that I went to, but that I would see on MTV. Yeah. I would always thought that's fucking a cool shirt, like iconic. He wore one in red and wore one in black. Yeah. And it was always the Charlie Don't Surf. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And uh, I found one, got a chance to get it, and I jumped on it, man. Mm -hmm. Black, my size, you know. Yeah, super sick. Yeah, so it's good a, size. It's, Looks like it's got a nice drape to it when you wear it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super dope. Couple I times. think. Uh, all right, that's the last one that I had of mine. Um, anything else you wanted to get into? This one's hard. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Just this one's one of my favorites. Yeah. So yeah, <clears throat> let me know about this one because I'm not too familiar with Portishead actually. Portishead's dope. Uh, it's another. She's a chick, a group, '90s band more on some melodic like hip hop stuff trip hop kind of feel mm -hmm. more 90s like i said i'm a big fan of like the 90s trip hop stuff and uh portishead was one of my favorite bands and their shirts are very hard to find and i found this one is one of my favorite joints and you know it's really dope they're very artsy too all their videos are really cool it's on some like again some like lavish kind of sade-ish kind of shit yeah. especially for some chick singers that are fucking rad and they sound really cool Sick. It's one of my favorite joints. They might not be the most expensive, but to me, I think having all the different genres and just the different selection makes it better. It's just cooler to me. Um, how do you uh, how do you get into like vintage? Um, I've always collected tees. You know what I mean? I'd buy records and collect the shirts, and uh, I just always thought they were cool and when I'd spin I'd wear them you know what I mean so I'd wear them and I think that anything that like you know happens I mean DJs always stayed fresh you know what I'm saying so we always stayed like keep our ear to the streets and whatever new we had to have or rock would have come down to Jordan shoes 
um, anything like that. It was just only a matter of time that it was going to catch up to everyone else that vintage or music tees are fucking cool and now it is what it is.